Hello everyone, welcome back. And my gift to you today is this beautiful morning routine. So we all know how good it feels to just get up that little bit earlier in the morning to take a few kind of 20 minutes or so to ourselves to get ourselves really prepared for the day. So that means this flow, this kind of movement flow, We'll be dropping in on the joints, getting our lymphatic system nice and working, maybe packing a little bit of heat to start our day with a little bit of punch. And then afterwards, it can set you up and ready you for some meditation, or you can just crack on with whatever it is you've got to do today. So that being said, we will start off pretty gently with getting into our spines and then take it from there. So we're going to start off in a child's pose, bring toes to touch, knees super wide, palms come out in front of you so just lengthening through the sides of the body just take a moment there to roll into the hips so a little bit of a rock from left and right maybe massage the head and just use the first moments to really drop into the body to start recognizing the breath this morning and even noticing if there's any tight spots like these pockets of like fuzz underneath the shoulders and just giving yourself a little bit of time to settle in to really arrive in towards your mat and your practice. And then from here, we're gonna ground through the palms. We're gonna go into a rolling cat and cow. So take an inhale, just a ripple, roll the spine forward. As you exhale, we're gonna drop the belly, lift the heart, soften the elbows, roll the shoulder blades back, and then slowly sink the seat towards the heels. Perfect, so we're gonna do that a few more times. And I want you to really focus on that rolling effect of the spine. So the rippling forward, back of the heart towards the sky, the opening through the heart and the slowly sinking back, perfect. So really getting a sense of each vertebrae rolling as one. And also as you move forwards and backwards, noticing that movement of the pelvis, right? So as you sink the butts back, we're sticking the glutes out high, pelvis turns up and we're coming down. Perfect, we're gonna go one more time. The inhale, carrying us forward. The exhale to open it all the way out, perfect. And then this time as you come forward, we're gonna find our first little cobra. So big breath in to roll, to ripple, to drop the hips, to lift the heart, to roll the shoulder blades back, take a big breath in. And then exhale, slowly bring it down, good. So keep the hands where they are, pull those elbows in and back, take a breath in, find in a soft cobra, and then breath out to slowly sink it down. A few more times, the inhale to roll, to ripple and pull it up, using the back line of the body, the exhale to soften, perfect. One more time, big breath in, we rise it up, and then exhale to release, amazing. Bring the crown of the head on the floor. We're gonna take the arms just a little bit wider so we've got a little bit more of a base for our support. And then from here, roll the shoulder blades back, lift the heart up, imagine that pulling sensation. So really just anchor yourself here and we're gonna take a few little head and neck rolls. So just moving in a short little semicircle from left and right. Just seeing how we can open through the sides of the neck, even the chest, good. Taking one more big deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, slowly soften. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, make your way back in towards a first downward facing dog. And as always, use that downward dog as a check-in. So we're gonna bend through the knees, through the legs. Give yourself a little bit of a shake from side to side, just checking in with the hamstrings this morning. Perfect. And then when you're ready, just find stillness. Pull the armpits in towards each other, finding that length through the traps. And then as you breathe in, we're gonna look forward. We're gonna walk the feet all the way in towards the hands, coming into a ragdoll pose. So we're letting everything fold towards the floor. Give yourself a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a melt. And then from here, we're gonna work through the spine before we take it up a little notch. So. A few spinal rolls. Bring the hands at the back of the legs for me. So think about curving your spine so much that your belly is in towards your thighs. And then we're gonna zombie roll up. So on your inhale, push through the heels. Think of rippling and rolling the spine. So nice and slow. We're gonna come up to stand. And then as the shoulder blades roll back, lift the heart up, stick the glutes out, big breath in. And then as you breathe out, reverse the action. So shoulders roll in, chin rolls in towards your chest. And we're gonna slowly roll down, 
the whole length of the spine. So just breathing into those tight spots this morning. It is the first thing of the morning probably. So you're going to feel it all through that back line. And we're going to repeat that twice more. So keeping the hands at the back of the legs. The inhale, we're pushing through the feet. We're finding that rolling sensation through the whole back line of the body. The shoulders roll back, we soften the knees, we open the chest up, we take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're gonna roll down once more, perfect. So super nice and slow, keeping that weight back, just kind of just waking up the body, right? Just finding lengths in these pockets. So we move out from this spine through the center. So if we get a little bit more movement here, the rest of the day is gonna feel pretty awesome. Now this time, as the shoulder blades roll back, we're gonna take an inhale, raise the arms up. And then as you exhale, interlace the fingers behind the head for me. So shoulder blades roll back, heart nice and high. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're gonna twist all the way over towards the left hand side. So like a nice active twist. Just getting into the spine, keep drawing that left elbow back, right elbow forward, try and keep that right hip nice and square. Take one more breath, and then inhale to bring it back through center. Good, using the exhale, take it to the opposite side. Right elbow draws back, left elbow draws forward. So finding that twist in the spine. Perfect, take one more breath. And then using your inhale to rise, come back through center, send the arms up high so we've gone into our twist, we're coming into our lateral bends. We're gonna drop the right arm down. We're gonna send the left arm all the way up and over. So soften the knees, find that space from the left heel to the left fingertips. Try not to let the left hip drop forward. Perfect. And then as you breathe in, arms are gonna go all the way up and we're switching sides. So left palm comes down, right arm reaches all the way over to the left. I know this feels fabulous in the morning. Take one more breath. And then inhale, bring it back through center. Arms high, we're gonna exhale and fold all the way down, just adding onto our twists from our fold. Take a breath in, look forward and lengthen. Place the left palm down, soften the left knee, send that right arm up towards the sky. So reaching towards the ceiling, keep pushing that right hip back, that left palm can come onto a block as well. Good, take one more breath there, belly button in, crown of the head reaching forward and then exhale to switch, so soften the right knee. Right palm down, left leg straightens, left arm goes high, that hip's pulling back. Good. One more big inhale. And then as you exhale, we slowly soften, we place the hands down, and then we step it back towards our plank pose. So we're getting a little bit more heat this morning, getting into the wrist. So from our plank pose, I want you to just rock forwards and backwards for me. So loading in towards the fingers and taking it back for five, for four, Good, for three, feel that shift of weight forward for two, glutes nice and active, hips not too high, and one, send it back, downward facing dog, perfect. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. And then when you're ready, we're gonna step that right foot outside of the right palm, heel in, toe out, because it is first thing of the morning, give yourself a little bit of a bounce in towards the hips. Think heart forward, hands can be onto the blocks as well, just getting in towards that right hip. Left hand's gonna go down, right arm's gonna go up, so twisting once more, really push through that right heel, big breath. And then as you exhale, just slowly curve that right hand in towards the left thigh. Two more times, the breath in, stabilize through that left palm, send that right arm up, and then exhale to curve, good. Notice where that stability is, you're gonna need it in a second, left palm down, right arm goes high, open up the twist, you can drop the back knee if you want to. Take in one more breath, and then as you exhale, slowly take that right hand down. We're gonna step that right foot all the way back towards your plank, keep rounding, keep breathing, one more breath and then slowly take it back, downward facing dog, good. So it's just slowly getting in towards the body, creating a little bit more energy this morning. That left foot's gonna step outside of the left palm. And again, give yourself a little bit of a bounce, a little bit of a rock, forwards and backwards, noticing what's happening in towards that left-hand side. 
Right hand stays down, left arm's going to go high, so we're twisting it out. Really push through that right palm, big breath. And then exhale to twist in on yourself, left arm towards those right ribs. Two more times. The breath in, we open up high. And the breath out, we're pulling it in. One more. Big inhale, so open up, trying to get that full kind of rolling through the upper back. Perfect. And this time when you open up, just hold it there, reach high. You can drop the back knee if you need to. Take in one more breath. And then as you exhale, left palm comes down, left foot steps back. So think of hollowing out the body, find that plank pose, breathe. For three, two, and one. Slowly send it back, downward facing, good. So add in a little bit more heat before we come down on towards the floor. So from here, bring the feet a little bit wider. Perfect. We're going to roll the spine forward, come in towards your planks. Perfect. So from here, we're going to drop the feet towards the left-hand side first. Stabilize through the left palm. Take the right arm up. Fascia status. Big breath in. As you breathe out, right palm comes down, high up on the toes, and we're going to switch to the opposite side. So keep the hips up high, and we're lengthening and reaching. Now you can stay here, just switching in between your side planks from left and right, trying to move slow, keeping the hips high, or next time you exhale and drop the right palm, add in a push up in the middle, whether it's on your knees or not. Slowly rise, push up, side plank to the side, good. Left palm comes down, add in the push up or not, it's up to you this morning. To rise and extend, take it to the side. Keep on going, use the exhale to lower, the inhale to lift and push, perfect. Lowering down for five, lift and push, perfect. Coming down, elbows brush the ribs for four. We got this, lower for three. I know, you're like, where did it come from, Sarah? Keep going for two. Making the A shape between those elbows and the crown of the head for one, last one, find your side plank. Now from here, drop in towards your plank. Bring that right knee in towards your nose, round. Good. Now make small circles with that right knee. Get the core fired up for three, for two. On your last one, right knee comes down underneath the hip. You're welcome. Stabilize through the left arm. Take an inhale. Right arm goes all the way up. And then as you exhale, thread that right arm underneath that left armpit, right ear towards the ground and breathe. So left knee can come in if you need it to. You can keep it extended. Left arm can come all the way forward. Find that release for that left shoulder. Most importantly, breathe. Good. Holding it there for three. For two. And one left palm comes back down. Push through the palm, send that right arm all the way up, big breath in. And then as you breathe out, both hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes. Right foot goes back, left knee comes in towards you. Hollow it out, belly in towards the navel. Three big circles, we got this just like a washing machine for two. And one, left knee comes underneath. Keep the right foot extended. Send the left arm up this time. Take a big breath in. Breathe out, threading the needle. Left hand underneath the right. Left ear towards the ground. Right arm comes forward. And again, that right knee can come in if you need a little bit more stabilization. Good. Taking a minute. Taking a breath. And if you haven't already, just pull that right knee in towards you. Do so now. Bring the right arm back in. And then we're going to slowly push back. So come back into your tabletop. We're going to send the seat back towards the heels. Roll over onto the knees. Bring the feet out in front of you. Perfect. So last little bits now before we finish. So the spine's been released, the arms are nice and warm. We've got a little bit of power. We're going to come into the core today. So dropping back onto the sit bones, send the arms forward, crown of the head reaching, toes come up high, coming into your navasanas, and we breathe in here. If you'd like your navasanas with your legs straight, feel free, but try not to round in towards the spine, right? You want to think as if there's a magnet between the belly and the thigh. Good, chest nice and lifted. 
We'll hold in here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Lower back on the ground, reach forward. Knees can still be bent if you need to. Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Lift it back up, find your boat for 3. Two and one, congratulations. Bring your feet on the ground, hip width distance apart. Bring the hands behind you, fingertips point forward to get into the shoulders. We're gonna push through the heels, we're gonna lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes, inhaling into that reverse tabletop. So keeping the hip flexors up towards the ceiling, pushing through the palms, we're feeling the strength, but also the openness of the shoulders. Breathe. Taking one more big deep breath. And then as you exhale, soften the knees, scoot the seat back towards the hands and lengthen the legs out in front of you. Our last one is going to be a forward fold. So legs can be straight or bent, completely up to you. We're gonna let the hands travel down the legs on the exhale, spine nice and straight. Think belly to thigh connection as we reach forward towards the toes. So try not to crane the neck forward. Equal space between the front and the back of the throat. I'm gonna hold it for a few breaths. So every inhale, think of lengthening through the spine. So pushing the chest towards the toes and every exhale, just folding in towards the legs. Good, breathe in here for three. For two. And one, inhale to rise, come all the way up, come in towards your seats. Congratulations, guys. Your little mini movement morning routine is done. Let me know how you guys found it. I'll see you all soon.